Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see two interesting uh, interview scenarios that were asked recently in the month of uh, March and April. So I wanted to cover that. So one is a user wanted to create a chart, something like this. So this is an L2 scenario where you know the laptop was shared or in Tableau, they wanted you to create this. So what is important here is how you are creating this space between each of these furniture supplies. Second one is this custom bar chart where we are showing in a donut chart. Okay, something like this. So we wanted to create this. So let us get started and we will create this. Okay, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first thing is I'm trying to create, uh, I'll take category here and I'll take a segment here. Okay. So with respect to this is sales, right? So till here, we all know, maybe after that, we will try to sort that and put it and tab you. And we will try to color it according to the segment here. Now what user need here? User need an empty space here. Okay. Maybe for visualization perspective or from improvement perspective, they might need, uh, or he might want to add one extra space here. How can we do that? So remember the concept of totals how we add totals or subtotals. So that is what we need to use this, I mean, in this to get that fixed. So go to analysis and go to totals, click on add all subtotals. So when you add that, you get one thing here, right? To total. So I've just colored that here in white. So because I have done that earlier, so it is giving taking white. So technically you will get that in a different color. If I click on format and uh, if I try to show you, Maybe from here I'll do, okay. So for total, if I put gray, this this would be your total, actual total. That is how it gets displayed. Now what we do is we try to, you know, color this uh, in the way your background color is in your dashboard and we'll also remove the tooltips. I mean, this header name, okay, click on that and click on format or you can go to this edit color. We want this to be white. I'm just selecting this. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now this is gone, but still total is visible, right? We, we don't want that also to be displayed. Right click on that and format and uh, font. I'm just making it white. Okay. Not for this, maybe only for totals I want to make, right? So click on this format and under totals, Okay, now we have colored only the total part to white. You see, it is not visible. So that way we can create an illusion where it looks like it is an empty space. So all you need to do is do little formatting so that you eliminate the grids, grid lines behind. It, it now looks clean. That way you can create. So now let us try to create this. Okay, the second part or the donut chart. Okay, very interesting here. So all we need is I'm taking subcategory here. Okay. And I'm dropping here and maybe sales also into my view. Okay. And now I'm taking this subcategory for only a specific category just for testing purpose for office supplies. I have taken because we have some, you know, more items here. So the first step is, you know, converting this into percent of total because we want to display percent of total, right? So that is what I'm trying to do. Same thing. What I'm doing is I'm taking this into my view also, and I'm making that discrete so that I can display my percent of total here. Okay. And then I'm converting my mark type into pie. So we got a pie chart here and I got a percentage symbol here. Now what we need is we need a calculation that can find out the remaining percentage that is what we need to do and that is what is the extra calculation that is required here so if you are clear on this you can do wonders i mean you can create custom calculation what are we doing here so what did we do here we got 30 value right 30 percent of total sales we have for storage but what we want to display a remaining percentage here, which means what is the remaining percentage? 70 approximately. If it is 30, assume if it is 30%, 70 is the remaining percentage that is available. So I want to color only that particular slice in this. So what I'm doing is, so my total percentage is one, right? Maximum minus whatever the value we are getting for this particular thing. 
that is what i'm trying to do here so 1 minus so it, is, it will always be less than this so and this will be always in decimals which will be less than 1 right so i'll just bring this into my view so for that i'm taking my measure values and dropping it on angle so for now we have more so i'm just taking my measure names and um, i want to filter and keep only two maybe one minus and sales here only these two right we got two things so because this is a, a percent of total this is also percent of total i'm converting this also into percent of total so that all of this are in sync but still it didn't create it we want to take this measure name and drop it on color so you see we are getting two colors here but still it is incomplete because the problem is we need to take care about the uh, level of computation how tableau is trying to compute so it should be table down you can click on that and check this is table down fine okay so this is unwanted here uh, compute using table down fine i'm just clicking on this compute using table down now you see here we got only that by 30 percent of the entire circle 28 percent of entire circle 14 percent of this so just to make it effective we can just add borders so that we can see the slice in the pizza so that is how this is how we can create a custom donut chart and this type of chart also you can create instead of a donut you know to show effective results i hope some, you have learned something new in this video if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day